Hey, welcome everyone to the Drunken Drugger channel. Uh, we're going to be having some fun because we're going to be doing a let's play of this amazing game. Larian Studios has done a phenomenal job. I've, I'm already 150 hours into this game, so I've already beaten it through one playthrough by myself just to kind of, you know, figure out some things and which is... I'm still by no means going to be perfect at playing this game. I'm going to make mistakes, okay? And I don't mind backseat gaming as long as you don't spoil anything for anybody in the comment section. You do, I'll have to delete your comment. I don't want to do that, so don't spoil anything. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but there are so many possible endings with this game. And it's just going to be crazy. So we're going to be playing a Warlock Necromancer. This is going to be my own personal build. Uh, that I'm going to do. I, I have a composition for a team that's kind of like a dark theme. And we're going to see if that plays out. It might not. Who knows? Um, it's good in theory. And you'll see. But we're going to get into the game. But. Oh yeah, I love this part right here. We're in the Temple of Ball right here. And you just see adventures coming down the steps. I, I just, I love this. I don't know much about D, like, I know a little bit about d and I've actually never played it. I, I bought two books recently to kind of help with that. Um, but this game has, has just been absolutely phenomenal. And if you're going to get it or you're, you're not sure or you're just waiting until it comes out on consoles, I can't recommend this game enough. So, we're going to do new game. We are going to be playing on Tactician. And like I said, I'm going to be playing as a Necromancer or Necro Warlock. But we're going to be playing as the Dark Urge. Because I figured if I'm going to be an evil character and do an evil playthrough, might as well go all out. You know what I mean? So... I love this game. <laughs> I love I love the cinematics. I've I, they've done an incredible job. Uh, we're going to yeah reset the tutorials. All right, guys, and like I said, we are going to be playing as the Dark Urge, and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, customization. But I'm gonna just go ahead and play the introduction for the Dark Urge, so you can kind of see what this is all about. Rancid blood whispers to me, kill, kill, and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world, 
And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured, beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. Yes, yeah, so that is the dark urge. Desperately trying not to murder everything, but we're going to give in. We're just going to give in to the killing, to the, to the ceaseless slaughter. Um, so it says, you remember nothing but a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? And no, we, we don't. We don't. We actually, we fully want to embrace it. So we're going to go ahead and edit our character, edit our appearance. Um, real quick though, before you do this, one thing that I'll point out, if you're going to play as a dark urge, before you even start editing your appearance, make sure that you go here to sub race and pick what kind of dragon, uh, you would like to fall under because there's, there's different types. There's chromatic and then there's, uh, the evil, evil dragons. So you got like red dragon. We are going to do white. Well, we're going to do a white dragon in a sense of being able to use frost breath. Um, I would do black dragon. Black dragon's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we're going to do... Because you get acid breath. It's kind of up in the air because I'm thinking if I'm going to be a necromancer, it's going to be one of these two. But I'll probably just stick with uh, the white dragon uh, sub race. So we're going to edit our appearance. I am going to go with this style of head. Really like that. Um, love these horns. I love this style right here. Uh, it's just absolutely sick. I already kind of have an idea of what the build is going to look like. Um, when I say build, I mean like what my character is going to look like. Did I use... I think I used this. Yeah, I use that. And as far as skin color is concerned, we're gonna do. Which one do we do? It's like a. It's a black. Oh, it's too dark. How dark? How dark? A uh, little bit. How dark did I go? I think this is what I did. Yeah. So this is going to be what our character looks like. We're going to choose Dragonborn race. Absolutely think this is so cool. Um, he just looks sick. Really freaking sick. We're not going to even change the eyes. I think that this is perfect for the Dark Urge. Something that looks almost... I wouldn't say demonic, but just a really badass looking dragon. So, a little bit of red kind of matches my me because <laughs> I'm like so red right now because I, I just kind of got done shaving and stuff or trimming up and whatnot so if you're wondering dang why is this guy so freaking red that's why and it's hot as hell in this bedroom so there's that <laughs> but yeah that's that's what we're gonna be doing a uh, tail I actually like tail C because to me it kind of looks like a you know aliens tail like a I just think of like aliens versus predator when that one alien like penet oh it sounds terrible <laughs> kills the predator with his tail uh, in that AVP movie that came out like a long a while back so just crazy um I think we're good there So we're actually done editing the character. Um, he just looks so sick. As Like I said, our class. So we're going to start off with probably three levels of Warlock. Because uh, we need Eldritch Blast. We're going to change our cantrips. Um, just to be thematic, we're going to do Bone Chill instead of Blade Ward. Um, 
subclass, we are going to do the Fiend. Uh, I think that's going to be... Let's see, great old one. Oh. Um... No, we'll just we'll just do the fiend. That's that's totally fine. Uh, we will probably get rid of the armor, and we're gonna probably we'll do hellish rebuke. Hellish rebuke is really oh excuse me is really good. I really enjoy it. We'll probably be picking up hex after this, probably like our next level. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Dark Urge, we, I think we have everything good to go. It says the background, you just have the haunted one. A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your per peripheral vision. You carry it wherever your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. So we have medicine and intimidation as our skills. Because we're doing the Dark Urge, we, we can't pick any other background. Uh, as far as our abilities are concerned, I'll probably clear all this. And we want to focus on Charisma and Intelligence. So I would even say probably mainly focus on Intelligence and have... We'll have a plus two to Intelligence and a plus one to Charisma. Now, people might be like, dude, I don't like your ability points are jacked, or I don't like how you're doing it. This is just how I'm doing it. It's my let's play. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm going to just do it how I think I should do it. Constitution, I'll probably do 12. Intelligence, we'll get it as high as we can. Uh, probably keep, keep them both at about 16. Dex, probably 10. Wisdom, 10. And probably go one more in intelligence and constitution. Strength's going to be pretty low, but we're not going to really need strength um, because I think when we get to level three with Warlock, I'm going to do, I can't remember what it's called. You're, you're going to see, you'll see what I'm, what I'm, you're going to smell what I'm stepping in. All right. So going back to the character, I think this is the normal... I think this is the Dark Urge voice. Where to next? I think. Right? Hmm. Well, let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. Oh, duh. Oh, duh, duh, duh. So we already did that. Makeup eyes. General. Jaws. Oh, yeah, genitals. Totally forgot about the genitals. Uh, should we do def <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just what is the fault, you know? I I I don't want to show anything. So um Yeah, I guess we'll just have to Let's see. <laughs> oh god. Holy crocodile. No, if, buts, mites, or maybes, we have a mile. Oh my lord, have mercy. Good lord. I don't even know what, what I'm looking at here. But let's see. Can I Okay, we don't want we don't want that. Oh, you can only just get Oh, he doesn't get all the all the different sizes. Well not sizes, but different styles, I guess. Um Huh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um Never, never thought I'd ever see a lizard man's dick before, but that today is a first, and hopefully it'll be the last time that uh, I see that. And hopefully, uh, well, you guys aren't gonna see it because this is YouTube, and I don't want to get demonetized. So we're just gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna put his clothes back on, and we're gonna continue, <laughs> continue on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I love this game. It's so crazy. Okay. We're, we're good. We're just going to go ahead and proceed. Um, since he doesn't know his name and he has a patron, which I'm pretty sure is Asmodeus, probably just name him Asmodeus. I'm using one hand because um, my mic's in the way. 
Yeah, let's just do that. I think that'll be fine. Cantrips. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. We only have simple weapons and light armor. I'm I'm most likely going to use um we're gonna use a flail because I think that is a brutal f weapon compared to like a knife. And then we are gonna I'm gonna try and make it to where he has heavy armor. Because when I played as a necromancer in my last like when I was playing by myself, um they're very squish squishy. Like wizards are very squishy. Now you can use like mage armor and stone skin and like all this other stuff to like for survivability. But I I just like heavy armor. Plus it looks cool. The armor looks bad, you know? So we're just gonna do that. Let's get right into it. Sorry guys, I have ADD like bad. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we gotta make a a guardian. We'll go with a tiefling, because why not? Tieflings are hot. Plus, I'm actually surprised that they don't have Dragonborn as something that we can select. That's kind of crazy, huh? Alright. Subrace, subrace. Asmodeus is fine. General. Um, I think that's fine. Remarkable. Skin tone. Skin tone's fine. Uh, I don't have any problem with any of this right here. Um, that's cool. Eyes, eyes are fine. Makeup. Lip tint. We're gonna go. Probably like black. Metallic. A little bit of gloss, a little bit of lip intensity. Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm good with that. Hair. Boom. I like that. Black neutral. Uh, I like it. Facial hair. <laughs> you know what is funny is when I was playing early access while I'm creating this, I'll tell you. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like one of the, um, I think when you find the Gith Yankee on the bridge or something, one of the like flaming fist knights, it's a, it's a chick. But she's got like a like a beard, a big bushy beard, like Duck Dynasty beard. And I just, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's uh, that's interesting. But that I think they did away with it when I um, like the actual game. Oh, game, excuse me. I gotta get a little bit of little little bit of water. I'm 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 dying. But anyway, yeah. Freaking tieflings are hot as shit. I mean, whoa. Wait until you see one of the characters that we encounter. She's she's gorgeous. I'm going to actually hide my camera because I think there's a cinematic coming up before I hit continue. So I will see you guys in just a second.
Oh, that was that was epic, huh? <laughs> I remember seeing that, and I just was like, I already know I'm getting it. Like I was, I was just like blown away by the cinematic, which can get you in trouble a little bit, because I was a bit hasty with uh, Diablo 4. Like the trailers were epic. I mean, Blizzard can do trailers, but um, I haven't really been playing that game. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Um, let's see. <sighs> Take a deep breath, shake your head, and start anew. Time to get out of here. And then you can shed light on the dark of the matter of yourself. Ugh, my head. Oh, wrong way. I'm actually gonna head up here. Yeah, but I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you again. I'm gonna just say thank you. Into your mind, a nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Yes. Uh, before I was rudely interrupted, thank you guys so much for uh, for watching this and uh, embarking on this let's play with me. Never wanted the easy path. Experiencing the dark urge with me for the first time. I've never. I haven't played. I didn't play the dark urge. This is my first time playing the dark urge. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Ooh, mini. Everybody loves mini. I like his like brisk jog. Well, it's it's not really a jog. <laughs> Whoa! I moved my camera too quick. Let's see what's in the nursery, shall we? The pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Let's do investigation. Skill checks. You guys can read that if you would like. Let's go ahead. Oh my god. <gasps> oh no. I'm gonna reload the set. No, <laughs> you notice nothing more oh, well. than meets the eye. It's so tempting. Reach toward the pool. <laughs> the little shriek. Tadpole's dying. This game. I mean, look at the, the look at the effects of that fire and smoke. It just is so freaking beautiful, man. It's absolutely gorgeous. What do we have here? Got a dead mind flayer with a jade. Dead. Good. Some more minis and some healing potions. I think that'll be very helpful, especially on this difficulty. <laughs> I know we don't need to, but hey. Odd. I feel. Might as well. Better. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let us head through the battle. The sphincter. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's just so so funny. The first time I saw that, I just was like, is it really named that? Okay. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. What's inside? We are yes, what's inside the goblin? Yeah, I love the little psionic rune slates that they have. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. 
nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. A feeling penetrates your mind, an anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. <laughs> it's so funny too, like whenever they have like these psionic, like, they're just overcome, they're like always, they, it almost, it to me, I get migraines a lot and it looks like how a migraine would feel. Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. Oh, my eyes twitching. I think I've had too much caffeine. It's probably why, like, I'm so red. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Could you? I would have a stroke if a, a thousand years just passes, like, through your brain. You'd just be like. <laughs> <laughs> just like pass out I would forget who I was I'd be like where who am I I'm still on the ship I would I would just think I was in hell this would be crazy we are here to save us from this place from this place you'll free us the exposed brain quivers in expectation please before they return they return uh, I think you're past the point of saving tell me what to do remove us from this body from this case free us Oh, excuse me. Um, well, we're not strength based, so we're not going to do that. Let's do some investigation. <laughs> Hopefully, we have a better roll than the last time. <laughs> oh my, my god. What is this? What is happening? Awful rolls. This is not a good start, guys. This isn't a good start at all. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. Oh, God. All right. Hold on. I got to get my lucky gnome. You guys, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comment section what I should name him, but I think I'm going to name... My little fall gnome. Let's see. Probably like Winthrop. Give me luck. Please. Let me get a 20 something good. Oh, hell yeah. Lucky gnome. <laughs> Always gotta have a lucky gnome. Jesus Christ. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. That is a dark urge right there. Imagine a brain full of holes, a brain like your own. Now this could either go very well or not good at all. As with most things. So let's, oh God, we have to roll a 15. Oh God. All right, I'm not gonna use the gnome this time. Hey, still got it. I'm actually surprised. creature seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature
creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm! But the helm, we are needed. Um... What should I call you? Us. We are us. Okay. Hive mind. Okay. Um, alright, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Oh, he's just my little tiny brain puppies. I love brain puppies. Until they attack you. And they're... Pretty sure that I think they're called intellect devourers, but I like to call them brain brain dogs, brain puppies. I still can't get over my guy. I think he looks so cool. I think I like it a lot. Oh yeah, we're we're in hell. Look at that. Pretty sure that the dragonborns, though, uh, I think their species, I could be wrong. I don't think they like dragons, like, at all. of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Squall. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. God, Lizelle has... The a tremendous job with the voice acting for this character. Um, who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mindfully of parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay, mind flayers. Um, let's see. We're turning into mind flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Damn, they are chomping down. God. Yay, our little friend's gonna help us. This is actually the first time that I, I haven't failed. Usually I always fail and I never get any help from him. Because I'll end up killing him or something bad happens. But this is the first play time I've... I've had him. So that's awesome. Um, let's go ahead and unlock that. Move this up. I'll have to organize this here in just a second, but we're going to go ahead and do a rush attack on this guy. Boom. Oh, well, he did a saving throw. We can still knock him out, potentially. Pommel strike. Alright, well, he's dazed. Almost dead. Not quite. <laughs> okay. Attack him. Use your tiny clout. Good God. He killed him. Behold the dance of death. Lock this. 
enlarge it. Although we don't really need to do it. We get ice breath or frost breath, so that's pretty sick. I love arms of Hadar. Uh, do Eldritch Blast. Boom. 13 damage. And we get Dark One's Blessing. Which we gain uh, temporary hit points equal to our Charisma modifier. So pretty sick there. Oh, we still have we still have this guy alive over here. I'm like, why are we still in combat? <laughs> you go to hell, you go to hell and you die. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the hell. Yeah, I wonder why. Why am I adequate in battle? Hmm. Need to find a way forward. It's not like I've played this before or anything. Oh, I love I love this weapon. But like I said, we are going to play with a flail. And while we might not be proficient in uh, a lot of the... Should I take it? I think I'll just take it. And uh, handling some of these weapons, it doesn't matter. It's not going to matter once we reach level 3. Because we'll be able to wield anything. Some more minis. What we got here? I will take it. And uh, this also, if you've used, I think this is a cantrip, so we can use it as many times as we want. Um, but yeah, if we use this and it's gone because we need to rest, it'll rejuvenate our spell slots. So Should just a little friendly tip. We need to get out before it's too late. Let me know in the comment section, guys, who you have decided to play as, or if you've already beaten the game, or like obviously without any spoilers, but just let me know how you're enjoying it so far. What did you decide to play as your class? Did you multi-class? Like, just let me know. Oh, we gotta we gotta pass through another booty hole. Yes. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Ooh, what does this button do? Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. <laughs> That's like me after like 20 milligrams of an edible. I'm just like this guy right here, just... <laughs> you good, man? Yeah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, we can talk to her real quick. You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. We got all the time for stragglers. So we're going to use our Warlock Arcana ability. Uh, there's magic at work here. Determine what kind. Determine what kind, yeah. It doesn't matter. We're good. We passed. Warding runes. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Um, I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! I'm, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Good lord. The console appears dormant. Warlock, let's see. Inscribe the device with the glyphs you sense from the pod's warding runes. The console hums to life. Um, I'm not going to take a closer look. Let's see. Place your hand on the console. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Will the pod to open. <laughs> Critical failure. Just like get one. 
Oh, thank God. <laughs> brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Dangerous company. Racist? Alright. <laughs> Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. What are you talking about? Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Um uh, let's see. Alright then, let's get going. I'm Asmodeus. Shadowheart. One moment. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. <laughs> She's right. Lead on. <laughs> you just see this guy in the background just... Passing through another sphincter hell. God. That's crazy. Ooh, key. We will take it all. How many hosts of these gay infected? A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Don't worry, I'll get you. I'll get you out. Meredith, I'll get you out, Meredith. Don't you, don't you worry. I think I, I see a button right here. This should do the trick. Let me place my hand on it. You'll be free in no time. The pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. No. Meredith, no! <laughs> she was my high school sweetheart. We both got Change. captured on the ship. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Oh, that's fine. She was a bitch anyway. Need to get out of here. Yes, Before we do. It's our turn. Oh, yeah, we don't want to turn into one of those. Um, got some gold. Well, ah, can we read this now? All right, I'll just pick it up. This might unlock those controls next to the pot. Oh, really? Some more health potions. Definitely going to need that. Um, Meredith. Leia stares at you, weak and dazed. Oh god. Um, let us continue on. God, that's just, every time we pass through, I just, I'm like, uh, whoa, what was going on? I don't think we really need to open this, do we? No, we have the key. Should be able to open it. Yeah, there we go. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. What the hell is this? It's got like buggy little eyes and everything. <laughs> that is a that is a derp squid. The der derp squid. Get a little bit of healing. A little bit of healing going on. 
Now what sucks is actually, you know what? We need to head over here. I'm gonna pick this up. Not that I don't, I don't think that this is, this is gonna work. Oh yeah, we forgot about the backpack. Almost, uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna have Late Zell pick this up. I think she's strength based, so. Pick up and add the wares. This thing is an explosive. It's gonna help us with this now. next part, I hope. On my way. Um, in the early access, I was able to kill this guy that we're about to fight because I kept Lazelle here and I would just constantly heal. It's kind of a bit scummy, but hey. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of save scumming. Um, I might, depending on if it's like crucial roles that I have to make uh, just to stay, stay like thematic with my character. But other than that, I don't think I'll really... I'll just kind of stick with whatever consequences we have. So if one of our companions dies, I gotta just live with that. Hopefully that won't happen, but it very well could, We're especially... We're the hell. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyak. Ooh. I don't know what she just said, but that probably was not... Not good. Oh, so many beauty holes. My guy closed his eyes like oh, god damn it god damn it why does it always why do i always have to do something these are like little hell babies i swear flying hell babies uh puppy versus puppy mine puppy versus hell puppy let's go not bad not bad probably do a rush attack Boom. Thank God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what we want is Commander Zalk here to die because we'll get his weapon. Some of you might already know that, but I'm just saying. Hopefully we can. Um... I'm not going to waste any of that. Yeah, let's just attack. Oh, I was going to say, how is he still alive? My god, I took damage from that? Stupid. We'll go as far as I can that way. Well, so much for peace. We'll do Eldritch Blast on this guy right here. Ooh, so close to one-shotting him. Very well. Cool. And have him run over here. Time to strike. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm burping so much, guys. I'm so no sorry. To waste. Can I pick this up? Oh crap! I don't have enough action points. Uh, yeah. So we only have 14 turns to get to the transponder, or uh, and then the ship explodes and we all we just die. So try to not do that but i'm getting these things right here the nautiloid tanks because they're explosive and hopefully they'll finish him off i doubt it though we might not get the sword and if he keeps missing that's not good because he's the one that does like all the damage uh guiding bolt is so good Clerics are I love clerics. They they're so versatile. They have so many abilities and spells. Oh, fuck, we missed. That's not good. Heal the mind flare. Because he's temporarily our ally. Um 
I hate doing this. Swift as my feet can carry me. I have to use this on him. Which is okay, because we never run out of this. We'll, we'll always be able to use Eldritch Blast. No big deal. Ooh. Please attack him. Damn, he still can't reach. I should have um, dashed. So add to where's. Add to where's. Dash. Head over here. This is either going to work or it's not. And we'll just have to find out. Okay, I can't pick it up just yet. That's an. I'll take that. And when you're playing, you don't want to go too far past him because then there's there's going to be more enemies that spawn right here. And you don't want to fool with them just yet. I would recommend getting kind of right here. Um, the thing that sucks is we can't use Guiding Bolt anymore and that is such a good ability. We'll do Concussive Smash. He had a saving throw, didn't do hardly any damage. Wonder if the so gods come are up here. Me. Gonna do Eldritch Blast. Pretty good. I should have gotten. Man, I wish. I wish I would have been able to uh, get a hex because hex will do extra damage. I should have gotten that. Well, crap. Oh well. Oh. Calm down, Lazelle. We're trying to get you a good sword, chick. Chica. Victory Calm wins. yourself. Pick this up. Alright, we're gonna dash over here. And then we're gonna go to our inventory. We should be able to just drop all this. Drop item. Drop. Drop. And drop. Of course, I probably could have highlighted all those and then dropped them, but you know how it is. Um, can't really do anything. Oh, I can jump. He could attack me, though. It's the only bad thing with being so close to him is trying to get away. Um, can't do anything, so got to end it there. Mind Flare keeps missing. Really not good. Uh, we are going to throw... Without trying to blow anything up, uh, we're gonna throw one of these health potions at the mind flare just to heal him. Um, I don't know if I should jump. Blood comes easy these days. This will keep him from healing, but uh, we'll just use Eldritch Blast. What do I have to lose? This is really not good, guys. We're not getting any hits. The other Cambians are about to join the fight. This is not good. We just keep missing. I mean, we are playing on... Ooh, we are playing on Tactician, so... Might not be able to kill him. Um... Only thing I can think of is do Lacerate. He did a save. We only did four damage, which is freaking terrible. Um, we can try and do Pommel Strike, get another. Alright, so we did five damage total to him. Still, he has 145 health, so this isn't looking too great. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Finally, you hit him. Now, I wonder... I'm going to have to try and run away. Jumping's probably not going to be the best thing to do. Oh, shit. Oh. Have we got to gotta, we gotta go. Don't die! Oh, she died. Oh, God. That's not good. I had to get her out of there. It's okay. Here goes nothing. You will live. Live. Live, you fool. Live. I'm gonna move him up to everything. Hurry before they strike. 
move him up a little bit more. To me. Um, she's out of range, so I'm going to move her up. Now, again, she has Firebolt, and that's going to be what we are going to end up using. It's inevitably going to kill the Mind Flayer as well, but it is what it is. Come a little closer. They're kind of, they're kind of far, but they, they, they catch up quick. I mean, they can fly. And they'll... They about one hit. I mean, essentially you saw it. I mean, they will one hit us. Ooh, nice one, puppy. I don't know if it's going to be enough. <laughs> uh, dang. Is she going to be able to get out of here? Come on, Lazel. I believe in you. Make way. Oh, uh, don't get hit. Oh, you got hit. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> Just the dog that's like everything around him's on fire. He's drinking coffee at the table. That meme. This is fine. <laughs> Hellish rebuke. Oh, yeah, baby. You are dead. Back to hell with you. Um, can't use that. Can't use what I want. I will use this on him. I knew it wasn't going to work, but hey, it was worth it. It's worth a shot. I don't want to get too far away. Oh, no. The hell, the hell man bear pig. Um... Let's go ahead and throw another healing potion. Uh, all right. All right. She should be able to get out of there now. Come, yep. Yeah, they're flying. Oh God! I thought he was gonna. Oh. Oh, it looked like it was heading right for the tanks. I was like, no, Lazel! <laughs> oh no! Okay. Not looking good. The Mind Flare puppy. Come on, puppy. Oh, he missed. He, he was doing so good. At least he's got his attention. So that's all I care about. Um, get her about right here. Get another health potion. So she's all set. Nice. Critical miss. Alright. We're all far enough away to where this might work. Now I think some people would, were saying that you could... I don't know what class it is, but you can do... Pretty much you can disarm him. And you just take his weapon from him. Um, which is probably a better way of doing it. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck it. Let's just blow... Let's light this candle. Bye, Mr. Hellion. And he's still alive. Look at that. How much damage did that do? Not a lot. I mean, better than what we would have probably done to him, that's for sure. But looks like we're not going to get the sword, guys. Which is no big deal, because they're, they're good weapons. So, no, no problem. I wonder why it was running away. Die now. How do you miss? He's right there. Oh. Oh god. Yeah, they're trying to kill Shadowheart. Why did he stop there, I wonder? Oh wow, okay, so oh. Oh God! Oh God, everyone! Oh no! 
Yo, I thought that was it. I thought that, okay. Um, they'll be fine. Okay, you're just gonna have to trust me on that one. Um, she, ha she has one health left. Oh, man. We didn't do it, guys. The Helm's alien transponder. <sighs> I tried. Made it in time. Here, I'll disappear real quick. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. All right. Well, that was... I couldn't help but laugh every time he gets smacked in the fucking head with that chunk of meat. <laughs> uh, well, we... Somehow we made it. We made it, guys. But, uh, anyways, we are going to end it here and pick up on the next part. I'll see you guys in part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've gotten this far, please, please help me out with my channel. Um, I normally don't ask for, like, likes and subscribing and all that stuff. Because, hey, if you like it, you like it. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. But I'm just putting it out there. Uh, would really help with the growth of the channel. Um, so, yes, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you all had a wonderful day. And I'll see you in part two.